Cowboys to also interview Wink Martindale. Let's get to it. We first started this thing. Our vision, fast and physical. We know physical can come with pads. We understand that. But I like where we're at as far as fast. And I like how we're getting there, this, this demonstrating the physicality of what you're going to play with. Okay? But where we're at, we first started. One play at a time mentality. Do we have that yet? Getting there, right? We're getting there. Okay? Understand the importance of that play, though. This is going to be huge for us. I keep saying it, and I know we can't do anything until training camp, but we need to stop the run. It's not old school. It's a fact. If you can knock out a run game as a defense and make a team one dimension, because they want to throw it all over the yard anyway, but we can't give them both. Okay? In any situation, short yardage, you can see how tough your team is, look at your short yardage stats. Okay? You, you shut them back and knock them back in short yardage, you knock them back down the goal line, that shows you how tough your team is. All right, so most coaches always preach stop the run, and that is his pedigree. Wink Martindale is a guy that focus in on stopping the run he cut his teeth with the of course we can go all the way back he cut his teeth with the Raiders Denver Broncos and then of course everybody known him or know him of as a uh, coach for the Ravens and he was the linebackers coach there and then got promoted to being a defensive coordinator and then time escaped and of course he ended up getting fired and uh, he found himself in Giants land and this past season they finished off with seven in points allowed, six in yards allowed, finished out fifth in total points allowed. They blitzed a lot, uh, second in blitz, but they only occurred uh, 29 sacks in this season. This is what they do. They did a lot of blitzing and uh, second in blitzing in the National Football League. They were the most blitzed team in the National Football League in certain key moments. And that finished out worst in defense in terms of yards at the catch, meaning that people had a lot of blown assignments where they rallied to the ball or they over pursuit. We can talk about personnel and these sorts of things, but that's Wink Martindale. Uh, if he come here to Dallas, I think that that philosophy and scheme will carry, but the strength of your team will be linebacker because that's the emphasis of what he is. He is a linebacker's coach and at the true, in the hearts of everything, he is a linebacker's coach. But we got to look at it from the whole picture. You have Joe Witt Jr., you have Al Harris, you have Mike Zimmer, you have Ron Rivera, you have Mike Vabro. You got all of those guys that you got to interview for, and then you got to get ready for uh, actual draft time and philosophy philosophy and principle to be stapled in with the Cowboys. This was a sacred place. Nobody had ever been in a draft room. Now, as far as a matchup with Mike McCarthy, I think that he needs someone to be boisterous. He needs someone who's willing to be a little risky in a precise way. And I'm not saying that Don Wink Martindale will be that guy, but hey, leave no stone unturned. Uh, the Cowboys interviewing him on Tuesday. Let's see what can happen. Granted, the Giants, for the most of last season, if anything, you can say that they were a team that at least showcased you some highlight moments, highlightable moments on defense. Not saying that they were a world beater or of anything of that nature. They did finish off with the season, I believe, anywhere between 22nd to 24th ranked in defense collectively. But if you're looking at the individual key spot of that particular team, you can clearly see that they were on top of a lot of things as it relates seventh in points allowed and six in yards allowed. So um, a great deal for the Cowboys will be to stop the run, though. We need to stop the run. <laughs> we got to figure out a way to stop the run. And the Cowboys and the hearts of hearts, they just didn't do that. They didn't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, um, post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below of the Cowboys taking a look at Wink Martindale. If he can be a guy that the Cowboys may visit and say to themselves, this could be a guy for them. Uh, like I said, he was there between the year 2022 and 2023, only a short stay. And uh, we will find out, man, uh, is that something that the Cowboys need to do? To go out there and look at a Wink Martindale and see whether or not his philosophy and principle can stay. Post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but 
the best. Go Cowboys.